You're watching Telecom TV from the SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. And joining me now, I have three guests, and we're going to be talking about the Virtual Central Office project. Mm -hmm. On my immediate right is Mark Longwell, who is Director of OpenStack Partner Ecosystem with Red Hat. Hello. Good to see Mark. Good afternoon. Uh, next to Mark is Paul Mundinger, who is NFE Solution Provider Manager at Intel. Good to see you too. And last but by no means least is Jeff Kibodo, who is Business Development Manager at Worldwide Technology, WWT. So, as I mentioned, we're talking about the, the Virtual Central Office project, which is a very exciting project that's, that, that is, is really going through the development phases rather rapidly. Um, Mark, can you start off by giving us an overview of what the project is and its objectives? Well, VCO is a project from the OPNFE organization, and we've been evangelizing it for a couple of years with partners like Intel and WWT. It's basically a blueprint for modernizing a service provider's operations out at the network edge via software-defined infrastructure. That's its simple terms. What we've done though, working with our partners here, is to productize it and bring a solution to market. So how, how does a project really help operators and, and how, how do they all get involved in the community and ecosystem? Well I think we have a lot of partners who have been, I would say, adding value in the community. Ideas, a technology, people, right, to work on a community project. And then what we're trying to do is just simplify rolling out new services to service providers. Plain and simple. Right. So, as you said, it started a couple of years ago, um, but there's been developments this week at the show. It's been released as a solution via WWT, who will sell, implement, and support along with our partners in the program. Great, well, well Jeff, let's, let's pick up on this. Um, you're one of the partners. What is WWT exactly doing with the project? Well, what we did was we gathered, uh, uh, first of all, started with the Intel Next Generation uh, Central Office reference architecture. Took that as a as the basis and then developed uh, a solution from end to end which puts together the hardware, the software uh, using the Red Hat uh, VCO suite of products along with other partners that contributed portions to it. Anyway, we're going to take put that together and sell that as a solution to, uh, in this case, it's targeted to mobile carriers and to try to help them to replace some of their legacy proprietary central office systems to a virtualized software defined world so that like Mark said we can bring services or they can we can help them bring services to market a lot faster and also help with uh, uh, reducing some of their tests and validation time. Always important. Um, Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul, what's um, Intel bringing? So you know Intel enables all of these solutions because we have ingredients that go into these platforms from the edge of the network all the way to the core of the network. And working with partners like Red Hat uh, and WBT, you're able to take those solutions and platforms, the ecosystem partners that we support in terms of enabling the software pieces, and then working with Red Hat in terms of the uh, collaborating on, at the operating system level, and then with worldwide technology to actually integrate, validate, and have that ready to go as a, a prepackaged and validated solution and really accelerate that time to market. So we're really about enabling and accelerating solutions to market. And, and Jeff, it's probably worth mentioning, um, for those who don't know WWT, you, you, you have got, you've got a lot of history in integration and, and working with the service provider community. Yes, we do. We uh, have three major business areas, enterprise, public sector, and global service provider. The global service provider sector is probably one of the fastest growing portions of our business. And so uh, we've always been known historically as an integration champion and we have tremendous facilities and capabilities there. But what we've added a few years ago, it, it made some major investments in our advanced technology center where we have this sandbox POC, uh, pl a place full of labs where partners and customers can come in and we can work together to validate solutions that we want to take to market to help to create business outcomes that solve the customer's problems. Not just be a reseller, but solve their overall problem with these solutions that we put together. And Paul, you, Intel is, is, is focused a lot now on, on this the core to edge philosophy. Absolutely correct. Um, and realistically, the, you know, as you evolve solutions either in the central office you get into a discussion of the edge of the network. And the edge of the network can exist at the central office all the way out to the radio access portion of the network and locations in between. And as you have operators looking at their aging equipment going, hey, what do I do with this real estate? What am I doing in terms of reducing my cost of maintenance? How do I start evolving 
you know, in making best optimized utilization of that space, you touch points everywhere along that core of the network. And Mark, who else is involved in the project? Because you know we've got WWT, we've got Intel here and Red Hat. Right, we've got a, a, about seven or eight partners. So we have Affirm Networks, we have Altio Star, we have F5, we have Cumulus Networks, and also Edge Core Networks plus HPE. So this is all on HPE hardware, Intel based, obviously. So that's about seven or eight partners, which create the entire VCO solution, which is being packaged up and skewed by WWT. And of course, Red Hat's purely not focused on WCO. There's, there's a, a lot of work you do in the modernization of operate, uh, operators' networks. Yeah, I think telco, from our perspective, is, is a very fast-growing market. We have a dedicated telco vertical inside Red Hat. Uh, we're working to have service providers move from physical functions to virtualized functions, and now you hear a lot about containers. And they're all on a different path, I would say, on that journey. Some are still heavily physical, some are virtual, and some are looking to kind of be, I would say, leading edge and moving to containers pretty quickly. And depending on what path they want to go, we're there to support them with technology. Right. And Jeff, um, WWT has uh, made some other announcements uh, at the show, haven't they? Yeah, actually, we were really excited on Monday, uh, at the start of the show, we released our um, WWT branded virtual central office solution. And so with that, we were able to uh, come to the market and say, this is the solution we have tested, validated with all these partners and all these pieces of the solution, and we're now ready to go sell this to the service providers. You've also taken part in another project from Advantech um, around the, the virtual broadband network gateway. Right, so one of the uh, demos we have this week is on the uh, a VBNG that we put together uh, uh, with Intel, of course, and NetElastic, and, uh, and also Red Hat was part of that. Uh, Ad Advantech provided the platform, we integrated it in, in, in our, our labs, and then we had a demo of that integration and some of the performance benchmarks of that. And Advantech actually had a press release this week which announced that, and uh, m you know we were all part of that. And so we were really excited to bring that, and hopefully in the future we can build a solution around that to take to market too. I just want to wrap up with, with VCO because it's an it's a ongoing project, isn't it? Um, for those who are not involved, what's, what's the best way to get involved in the project? I think the best way is what WWT has done is created a lab environment where service providers and partners can come in and test this all out. So one of the benefits here is inside the lab, WWT has assembled all of this as opposed to going to grab seven or eight pieces of hardware and software on your own and kind of stitch it together. WWT's done that and we have invite partners and customers to come in and really test drive it as a, you know, a demo version to take a peek at it before implementing internally. So that's new for a solution perspective from a Red Hat. And I think from, you know, from our perspective, it, this is a point in time in a series of evolution of solutions that get put into the central office market. You also have adaptations of this for virtual head-end applications. So the telecom market is just not traditional telco and wireless. It is you're experiencing this convergence across cable, wireless, and wireline. And these same type of evolving virtualized solutions are very applicable to a cable and MSO operator network as well. You know, and, and that's where this convergence will continue to march over the coming years, is right in that area. Well, Jeff, Paul, and Mark, thank you all very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thanks thank for your time. You. Thanks for having us. Thank you.